As you all know, uh, this year has been an extraordinary year. And for Gretchen and Eric to take on the many challenges this year has presented and to persevere and to make today a reality is truly extraordinary. You should be very proud of yourselves. I know we all are. Despite having uh, 30 plus years to prepare for this day and this speech or this toast, I'm left here standing practically speechless at how absolutely beautiful my daughter looks today. Beautiful, loving, smart, generous, strong, patient, and kind. Loved by anyone who is lucky enough to really know her. These are just a few words that I would use to describe Gretchen. Um, after college, I moved to Maryland to teach, and that's when this guy came into this picture, and I was so sad that I wasn't able to approve of him. I would get phone calls and texts, and that Gretchen would be talking about this guy, Eric, and I was eager to meet him. I was home for the holidays. Let's just say Cameron and Eric became instant best friends, bonding with cigars, chewing tobacco, and IPAs. After that night, I knew that Eric had something special with Gretchen and I wouldn't have chosen anyone better to spend her life with. Not only was I happy that Gretchen found her other half, but I'm so happy that I can hand Cameron off to Eric when I can't handle him. <laughs> Which is many times. Eric and I have been friends for a long time. My wife, Kendra, will always take credit for our friendship because she's the one that brought us together. But it's also your fault. But for real, Eric has been an excellent friend through thick and thin, always there. There was one time we, we moved into a, an apartment in the city and we thought it was a great idea. We're gonna be close to so many things, it's awesome. And it's so cheap. We uh, spent our first night there, almost had it broken into and swiftly decided that this was not the place for us. And it took us five trucks, a day, day and a half to move into this thing. It took us three hours and four cars to get out. And Eric was there. During the best of times and the worst of times, I know I can pick up the phone and call Eric. And I hope you know you can do the same with me. You know, when you're a parent, you always want the very best for your child. I used to wonder if she would ever meet her match, who would be deserving of the special person that she is. So it's no surprise that I'm thrilled that she's met the person she wants to spend her life with. Someone who is her equal, her better half, really great guy is hardworking, loyal, smart, and comes from a great family. I'm elated to say that she did finally meet someone who perfectly compliments her. So Eric, thank you for making my daughter so very happy. You don't have to have a ceremony to make a marriage. And when you think about it, it is kind of funny. You're standing up here, looking fancy, holding your flowers, being stared at. So why do we do it? The marriage ceremony has been an important feature across nearly every culture, religion, generation, and society. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as one so critical. Despite all our differences, love is what we all share. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth. That no matter who we are, where we've come from, what we believe, we know this one thing, love is what we're doing, right? We've all loved in our lifetime, and in this moment we're reminded that the ability to love is one of the best parts of our humanity. All of us here have our own love stories. Some are short, others long, some are unwritten, while others are just getting to the good part. There are chapters in our stories that are sad or disappointing, and others that are exciting and full of adventure, and that brings them here. A time to pause, look back, and smile at all the moments that brought them here, and a time to look ahead at all of the moments that are still to come. I'm here, we're all here, because we want those moments for you and to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, not even this moment. It's every moment. Big ones like saying I love you, moving in together, getting engaged, but mostly a million little ones that come in between those big moments. 
falling asleep next to one another, making dinner together, spending holidays with your families, binge watching Netflix shows, getting a big hug when you get home from work. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible, words fail us when we try to explain it. That's just the way it is with love. It's meant to be felt, not described. And even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it, and we see it here. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is standing together to face the world. It is doing things for each other in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating that gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not only marrying the right partner, but being the right partner. Love is a mighty power, a great and complete good. Love alone lightens every burden and makes rough places smooth. Love flies, runs, and leaps for joy. It is free and unrestrained. Love knows no limits, but ardently transcends all bounds. Living like a living flame and a burning torch, it surges upward and surely surmounts every obstacle. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you. They're holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will tenderly cradle your children. These are the hands that will help hold your family together as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Eric, Gretchen, you fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. You're vowing to be there. You're teaming up and saying to the other, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be part of. When Eric met Gretchen, we were skiing and he's like, man, I, I, I think I got this. I think I got the one. I was like, what, what? And he goes, yeah, no, I, I, I just met her. That's all he wanted to talk about is just how he's actually landed the one for him. It was a little while later that I got to meet Gretchen and you're right, you brought me my GBFF. You know, I thank you for that. And you guys are great together. You're always a part of our family. You've completed this great circle of friends that we have that we can always call on each other to, to have a great night. We can cancel last minute and know that it's okay. But really, I am so glad that Cameron and I have two people to not only call really close friends, but family. Not only to us, but to our two little ones. I couldn't ask for better people. Today, I'd like to officially welcome Eric into our family. But the truth is, you've been a special part of our family from the day we met you. At this time, I have one last task and an honor and a privilege. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses. Join me in wishing the newlyweds a long, healthy, very happy future together. If everybody could please grab your glass and just raise it to Eric and Gretchen and to what a great life they're gonna have. Guys, to you, thank you. So let's raise a glass and celebrate Gretchen and Eric. Here's to the past for all you've learned. Here's to the present for all that you share. Here's to the future for all that you have to look forward to. Congratulations.